Hey guys, we're in the new house. The movers just left. It's like, I don't know what time, six or seven. And we are unpacking the kitchen right now. Today was a really long day. The movers got there at about 6.30 or seven. So it took them like 11 hours or so to help move us. And there were five guys plus us. Um, and I even had help with the girls today and it still took that long. So now it's just down to getting everything unpacked. But it was really hard because I couldn't put the girls down for a nap because there was nowhere for anybody to sleep. So everybody got really fussy and overwhelmed and screaming and it's just like, we're kind of like at like a stress max right now. Reese is finally sleeping but she hasn't slept all day. Like this is the first that she slept. So she'll most likely wake up in the middle of the night ready to play. So I love that for me. But Skyless, we ordered Domino's. That is like, I, it's so not, anywhere near my diet my well I don't like whatever it's not even anywhere near how healthy I've been eating lately and I'm really trying to not let this move throw off my healthy eating because it's really important to me so I've been really trying to stay on top of it and we don't have any bottles of water I didn't think ahead so I don't know where all the bottled water is I'm sure Nick knows it's probably somewhere outside in the garage by the fridge um, and I only have two snap kitchen meals left so I heated one up and then I couldn't find any forks, spoons, nothing to eat it with. So Nick was like, do you want to order a pizza tonight for dinner? And I was just like, okay. I was peer pressured. So pizza it is tonight. But as soon as I can get to the grocery store and get this kitchen unpacked and get more water and all my stuff. But I didn't order any Diet Pepsi or anything, which is like huge for me to not order any soda from the pizza place. You want some pizza online? Good morning guys. I slept in my makeup and we are all such a mess. We're all wearing the same clothes we were wearing yesterday. We're all stinky. Our hair is all crazy. Reese's hair is the craziest. Um, but I got most of the boxes unpacked that were in our kitchen. So it was probably like, huh? I just want color. Okay, you can color, but you gotta wait because mommy's doing something. And I've got Reese on the bed here, okay? I can't do everything at once, honey. Like I was saying, it's probably about at least 10 boxes, maybe more, that I got unpacked from the kitchen. But there's paper everywhere all over the kitchen. Um... But my next thing now is like, I need to start unpacking our stuff in the bathrooms, like at least to find all of our stuff for the shower and the bath and to brush our teeth and stuff. Cause I don't, we should have like put that stuff in a special place, but we put it on the U-Haul. And then when everybody was bringing, when the movers were bringing in the rest of our boxes, somehow all the stuff that we packed up last minute got mixed in with all the boxes from the movers. So I don't know where exactly it is. So that's like my first goal today, is to uh, find that so we can all brush our teeth, have a bath, get our hair brushed, and get clean clothes on, because we're all so just nasty right now. What do you think? Huh? How was your first night? Yeah, it's in the um, pantry. This is my setup right now. Boy, am I ready for a shower. So. The unpacking phase of this is going to take a while. So a lot of the vlogs coming up are going to be like unpacking where I'm putting things away. And then once I get everything unpacked, then I'm going to go back through and really work on organization and making this place really homey. Because now it's exciting to do that because we're, I, there's no end in sight of when we're going to be here. Um, it's probably going to be our forever home. We can always build on to it if, if our family grows I don't know that's a whole nother thing but we kind of feel like our family is complete now we thought we wanted four but it's starting to feel like three feels right I don't know think you never say never but it's starting to feel that way so we'll see but we can always build onto this house because we have all this land surrounding us we have plenty of room to build on and expand if we want to so that's always an option but I'm so excited you guys and this is going to be really fun and this is going to be so easy for me to like share on my channel because I'm so passionate about it and I think that these videos are going to be 
like therapeutic for me and fun for me to make and I hope that you guys enjoy the ride. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Everybody was saying in the last While I'm building a crib. Everybody in the last video was saying that they were expecting you to say um, I'm Nick Williams and this is my crib. I'm Nick, Nick Williams and this is my crib. <laughs> Nick is putting the um, the crib slats. Is that what they're called? The, cr the sides of the crib on. Maybe. I ordered the girls' beds and those should be coming in next week. So okay. we're setting this room up for Reese. I'll show you how the girls are living right now. Skyler, honey, I don't think she understands how headphones work. I've got a shower curtain up on this window until I get the curtain. Hi guys. Skyler said hi guys. in the mud Let's pack up a life, baby And call it a night Cause the longer we stay here The harder the fight I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow the spark Ain't nothing but a one way We won't regret this Let's kiss the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about. So right now Nick is outside um, talking to a guy who came to install new gutters because the house doesn't have gutters right now and um, when we had our inspection um, everything came back like pristine and the only thing that they came back and said that we needed to um, be proactive about is making sure the foundation um, like long term we don't have foundation issues. So one of the ways that will, I guess, the only way that we're making sure that the foundation. So, so Nick, I called someone to come out here to come do gutters on the main house and the casita. That's what the guest house, um, they called it the casita. So if you hear us refer to it as the casita, that's what it is. Um, it's really cool though, if you guys watched my empty house tour, you will have seen that and if not go watch that because it's really awesome in there it's gonna be really fun to decorate for guests okay nick took the girls outside to play so they're playing on the new playground i have been getting a lot of questions about what are we doing with our old playground and we're still bringing it over so next weekend nick is going with his friends to grab it and bring it over here they have to take it apart and put it back together so we couldn't do that this weekend so they're gonna do it next weekend but i just wanted to show you guys it is chaos right now um I'm extremely overwhelmed. I took a lot of stuff out of boxes and just like set it up on the countertops. Um, and here's our new little thing. We got rid of a lot of the uh, baby stuff at the previous house and um, only brought this and the Mamaru. I still have a rock and play, but Reese doesn't like it anyway and it's been recalled. So this is a mess guys the whole kitchen I'm like just filming this <laughs> my heart is beating like a million miles a minute right now with this and let's see I'm just gonna kind of show you guys like what we've done so far um the girls like grab stuff and 
everything just gets completely strung out all across the floors because like this paper that they were coloring on they just like grab stuff and like string it across the house and so that kind of just adds to the already existing mess but everything in here is just wild I'm trying so hard to stay on top of it but it's like feels never ending oh yeah they found the pipe cleaners and there's just a trail where the girls have been, you know, like where they've been by the mess. I unpacked a lot of stuff into the shower and I kind of want to clear that out and not have so many products in there, but I use so much stuff on a regular basis. It's insane. So the closet's not organized yet, but Nick kind of, Nick did this. He just took everything out and hung everything up and then I'm going to come back and organize it when I get a chance, when, when that is, becomes like an option. But right now there's just like stuff is everywhere, like random in random places. But I do love this mirror right here that we have in the closet and the closet is so big. It doesn't like, you don't realize how big the rooms are until you put your stuff in it. I feel like when all the stuff, like when we came, when everything was empty and I was filming, it looked a lot smaller than it actually is once we put our stuff in. Like, the master is so much bigger. The girls' rooms are so much bigger. The other house, the rooms, when you put all your stuff in it, they're pretty small. But these, like, I don't know if that makes sense. Those of you who've moved a lot of times or seen, like, an empty house and then you put your stuff in it, it's, it's like, bigger when you get your stuff in it. I don't know. At least that's just the, the experience that I have had with this house. Um, and then the last house, I thought, before we moved in, it seemed so big. And then once we put our stuff in it, it felt small. Isn't that weird how that is? You just never know until you get your own stuff in it. Side note, um, Reese is five months. She'll be um, six months on the 19th. And I just now, for the first time today, got my cycle back today. Today is, like, the first day. And I was kind of shocked just because it, I feel like I'm always pregnant or... I'm all, you know, I'm always pregnant or nursing. And so I got it back. I think with Skyla and Adeline, it came back around three months. So this time it took a lot longer and I was kind of hoping that it was going to keep going because I feel like, I feel, I feel it. I feel hormonal and I feel just like, like crying <laughs> for no reason. I like... I just, I feel the hormones right now. Like, my hormones are raging. And I don't know what to take. It's been so long. Like, I haven't been taking my postpartum reset, which is supposed to help with hormones. I haven't been, all my oils are, like, packed up. And they're not packed up, but, like, I can't get to a lot of my stuff right now. And it just hasn't been, like, my priority to, like, be keeping up with my supplements. I don't know if you guys are like this, but when we are traveling or moving or if there's like a big event going on I kind of forget about like my daily things that I do in my routine and one of those things is like my supplements and Nick is the same way I feel like when I was like eating better last week and drinking enough water I felt re very much reduced stress and then when I eat stuff that is like processed I will immediately feel the effects of it um and yeah so, like, I wish there were comments on here because I was going to ask, what is, like, what do you guys take to help from having, like, like a hormonal PMS or just breakdown during your cycle? Because I just feel so off and it's been so long since I've had this. I just don't remember this feeling. It's going to be so nice one day when all my hormones finally reset and I'm not pregnant nursing, which... I'm so blessed to have those things, so don't cringe when I say this because I know a lot of you guys would do anything to be pregnant or nursing or having these hormones, so please don't be offended. I just have had this going on now for the past, like, four years, and I'm just, I, when I'm done nursing Reese, I just feel like I want to go back to not having crazy hormones and just try and get back to a normal baseline because it's just a lot. It feels like having babies back to back, it's catching up with me. I didn't realize that it was going to rock my world this way. Well, I did, but not in this way. Like, 
I knew it was going to be hard, but now I'm like feeling the hormonal effects and I'm feeling the physical demand of having a preschooler, toddler, and an infant. The demand of that is a lot mentally and physically. It's um, in the same breath, obviously, it's the most wonderful thing. I feel like I always have to say that because whenever I'm like telling you guys like things like this, I feel like it gets misinterpreted sometimes of, of saying like I'm not grateful or I'm just complaining or like I'm you know I don't realize how lucky I am and trust me that is not the case <laughs> I just want to be like honest because I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this feeling is like um, and when at the beginning of the video when I said that we might only have um, three kids like I really meant that so I thought that I always wanted four, and then we had Reese and I felt like complete. Oh. Good morning guys, it's Sunday and we all just woke up. We are working on, I say we, but Nick is working on the girls playground today. I, I don't know if I showed any clips of this yesterday, but he went to the hardware store, ooh this sounds right in mine, um, to get some stuff to fix to basically fix it up and make it safer because um, our girls are younger than their kids. Their kids are old enough to where they like know better and like how to navigate playscapes. But our girls are still little and still clumsy so Nick wanted to make it a little bit safer. He put those two new boards up on the playground and he's going to go on the inside today and clean it out. He's FaceTiming his brother right now. But he's going to go on the inside and clean it up and I think like um, there's probably a lot of areas where they can get splinters and I'm wondering if he could don't laugh at me but could he maybe like sand it or refinish no. it I don't know I don't know what that stuff really I'm is fast, you want to go outside no, well you gotta wait we gotta get clothes on first okay we just woke up don't eat that play-doh so you guys want to go get dressed are you eating play-doh okay don't eat that okay it's a toy I have ordered a Berkeley. Oh, Nick is building a shelf right now, which is cool. I'll show you his little shop area outside. Is that a cow? Um, I have one of those major, big stainless steel Berkeley filters on the way. You put your own water in it, filters it for you. I know it's a cow, and then it's a bunch of cows. Whoa! Um, and then <laughs> there's literally cows just like right out my window. Um, well, not really. I mean, it's fenced in, but pretty much right there. It's really cool. So that's on the way, but until that gets here, I have been drinking bottled water. Our fridge doesn't have a water thing, and our water softener is not installed yet. We are having a, our water softener installed this coming week. So, oh, and Skyla got slime today at Target. I got unicorn slime. Yay! And I also got this. I I also like my teddy bear shirt. Yes, you also have a cute teddy bear shirt. So I wanted to show this to you guys because I didn't know that they had a Kirkland um, uh, pH balanced water and I was so excited because I, ever since I watched this video on YouTube like a year or maybe longer, probably longer, about um, the pH balance of water, I'm like obsessed with finding water that is pH balanced. And I saw this Kirkland brand and it's a really good price for a huge case. So I got some of that until our Berkeley filter comes in. Hi. Really excited about that filter coming in though. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't know you were gonna start this today. Huh? I didn't know you were gonna start this today. No, I didn't. I was just saying I didn't know you were already starting. Look at all of our boxes. These are runners that I got today. I love them. We got an awesome security system today. Nick was really excited about this. This is one of the things we went to Costco for. They're so deep. Hmm? They're so deep. Do you like it like that? Yeah. Now I'm gonna do two more. Yeah, that'll be perfect for towels and sheets. 
and comforter. And this is our new living room rug. I think I like it. I just feel like it clashes a little bit with the stone. Um, we haven't moved it all the way back yet. It needs to be moved back under the couch, but I just, I haven't decided yet. I like it like as it is, but I just don't know if it really goes. I mean, the theme is good. I just don't know if it really matches. Oh so the girls are in bed and I'm making some progress on the kitchen and you wouldn't actually think it, but, and I know the Yetis are like, that's a mess right there. I need to figure that out, but you wouldn't actually think it, but this kitchen has more storage than the um, kitchen at our last house. And it's actually shocking. I was expecting to not have an all, enough room for all of our stuff. And we have more than enough room, actually. I'm almost done putting it away. This is the last of the kitchen stuff. I do have some plates and stuff out, out there. But like this is completely empty and that is completely empty. All of these top cabinets, there's nothing in any of them. So this is like the dream. All right guys, it's Monday morning. I'll get you an apple in just a minute. And the bedroom is still chaos, but the kitchen is finally clear. I wanted to get that on first. Even the island is clear, which is crazy. The girls are kind of playing Legos and having some lunch. It's midday right now. And I just finished this up. So this took me all morning to finish up this half the pantry is looking pretty good honestly it's not as organized as our last one but at least um i mean it's pretty decent and this pantry is so big so look up there the next i know I know we need to add more lights in there. The next thing that we need to do is the bedrooms. So, but I think I'm gonna do the girls' rooms first because their beds just got delivered. <gasps> your bed just got delivered, so it's time to get your bedroom cleared out so we can put them in. Eh, no, I want this. I want the bed I want. I had it all day. You want the blow-up mattress forever? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just got the girls' rooms cleared out. They were sleeping on blow-ups in the middle of this, and it was like wall to wall. I put a lot of the boxes in the closet. And I got everything ready for the beds that are coming in. I think I already told you guys that the that's a shower curtain. That's not the um, the drapes that I chose or anything like that. I'm gonna come over here so there's no backlight. Girls' beds are gonna go right here. And then this, I can't remember whose dresser is. What's going on with the lens? There we go. I can't remember whose dresser is gray and whose is white. I think Skyla's is white and Adeline's is gray, I think. So. We're, Nick's about to build the beds. I'm so excited. Hey, it's Tuesday and a new gadget just came in. I'm super excited about this. I just got it on Amazon. I'm gonna add it to my Amazon store. But isn't this a neat a wireless driveway alarm so you know when people are um, getting to your driveway so you can get your, um, your robe on and be ready to greet somebody. So Nick is gonna be so proud of me for ordering this because he didn't even like recommend it. I just found it on my own. So I'm really excited to install it. And the girls' comforters actually just came in as well, so we are about to put the comforters on their beds. Oh, I almost forgot. They are putting the water softener in right now, so our yard is like, um... Oh, wow, they really covered that up well. You can hardly even tell. But anyway, they're installing our water softener right now. You, like where they dug up the yard, oh, you yeah. can't even tell. So good. Oh, they're so cute. Wow. I love them. Are you so excited? Look, they even have ruffles. You can change the pillowcases to the ruffle ones. I'm gonna do, well yeah, for the sham. Yeah. I love everything. I love everything what I get. <laughs> the sheets are really cute too. Wait, I feel something. They're shabby chic by Target. I feel Think, huh? What do you guys think? All right, guys. I'm washing the couch. It is starting to get disgusting, so I'm taking all the cushions off. I'm gonna throw them in the wash, and hopefully it works. Hopefully it doesn't ruin my couch. I'm kind of worried that it will.
So the covers just came out of the washer and I'm just setting them up here to dry. I did get a couple DMs because I shared this on Instagram that when they put their cushions in that they got destroyed and I think I know why. If you don't zip them up when you put them in the washer, there's strings inside here that can get caught in the washer and pull the threads loose. So make sure if you're gonna take your couch cushions off to wash that you keep it zipped and then don't put it in the dryer. We haven't tried to put them back on yet, um, but they were getting so bad that if for some reason one of them shrunk or for some reason one doesn't go on, I will just need to reorder a new cover because at this point they're just so bad that like they started to smell. Like <laughs> I haven't washed them since we've had it because I didn't realize that I could. Um, I thought that I, cause I've just been using my like, handheld uh, fabric like spot cleaner instead of taking them completely off but today I sat down and I could smell them and I was like okay it is time so there's another batch going on in our laundry room right here I haven't bought the rug pads to go under these to keep them straight yet because I haven't figured out how many of these runners I'm gonna need but once I do figure that out I'm gonna get the rug pads under them so they won't be crooked like that but I've got the second batch in here going in the wash all the girls bedding um, is in here to be washed because we had two accidents last night, both beds. I came in this morning and they were soaked, so love that. But this is all ready to go in once those come out. I've got some blankets and stuff in there being dry, but I'm so glad to have our washer and dryer back that we bought when we were in Georgia and then we ended up putting it in storage for two years because the house we were renting had its own. But these are back out and they're working. I was kind of worried they wouldn't work because they've just been sitting there for two years. The couch cushions came out Perfect. I did put a stain spray on the spots and they came out pristine. They smell so good. We had our water softener installed, which makes washing clothes and washing anything, it like it's such a better clean when you use soft water. So using soft water on those I think really was helpful for that. Um, we came out and had gutters, um, two, when it got two quotes for gutters. The second time they came, I thought they were coming to install them, but he ended up getting two quotes. And so we're getting gutters put on the house. They did not have gutters on the house. And I had a lot of people say, well, did your house pass an inspection if there weren't gutters on it? The house, we had to have a very intensive um, inspection on this house. Nick's a veteran. So they are like extremely thorough when they do, when you use the VA to buy a home, they're extremely thorough. The house has to be, like the standards are super high when you're using VA. So yes, it passed all the inspections. Gutters, we they are putting gutters on our house. I don't know when, but we've got the quote and Nick Hardy has that scheduled. We've been doing little projects here and there all over the house. Nick is building shelves. We are, right now we have temporary blinds in that we got from um, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond because they're like these little $5 ones that you can install until your, your window treatments get in. We're doing shutters, so Nick has measured the windows for shutters and then ordering them and he's installing them in himself. Um, what else have we been doing? I just feel like so much. So the dishwasher, the first time I ran it, I pulled the tray out and the whole freaking thing dropped down. Wheels were flying, everything was just... Anyway, somehow that dishwasher had passed inspection, but I know how it did, I think. She always scares me because when she falls asleep, she like puts her, her face like forwards. And I was like, girl, turn your head. Oh, I guess it's turned a little bit. Um, the dishwasher runs because I did run it for one cycle, but the water like was smelled and it just, I felt like it hadn't been ran in a while. I, I truly don't think they've been using that dishwasher. I think she's been washing dishes by hand um, because even when you open it, there's like some, I don't know if it's mold or just built up just mess it's just not clean and I just felt like you know what I want to pick out my own dishwasher and have my own dishwasher installed so I ordered it on Lowe's they delivered it today I ordered a haul away but I didn't know that I had to have that dishwasher completely disconnected in order for them to haul it away so they came delivered the new one wouldn't haul the old one away I also thought that I had ordered installation and I didn't so they didn't install it so that's today's saga um, however, it's sitting in here waiting to be installed. When I talked to Lois on the phone about like having someone to come out to install it, she was like, well, you have to order this, 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 and this, and we don't have it in store, so we're going to have to order it, and it's going to be this much time, and this and that. So I was like, mm, I don't think so. So I 
Well, Reese actually hung up the phone for me. She was sitting in my lap and flailing, and she's always hitting sin too soon or hitting buttons on my phone and things like that, and she ended the call. So I was just like, well, that was kind of convenient. I wouldn't have done that, but now that it's done, um, I decided to just, instead of calling Lowe's back, I called a plumber, and the plumber is going to be here today. And so he's going to remove the dishwasher that's in there, put the new one in. Hopefully we have all the parts. If not, that will really suck, but I'll just reschedule with him. I'll get the parts and reschedule with him or just have Nick do it at that point. But the thing is with Nick, like, yes, he could install it, but Nick is working all day long today other than going up to sign the paperwork for the Ranger. He's working all day. He won't get home till late. So like having him come home late, do all of that, I just feel like, no, I'm just going to have a plumber do it. He said he could do it and that he would, but I just, yeah, um, I'm just going to have a plumber do it so that he doesn't have to deal with it when he comes home from work. Um, Next thing I've done is I ordered a garbage disposal. The one that I ordered says that you can use it on septic systems if they're well maintained. We are on septic, so that's a whole nother ballgame. There are lots of different rules with septic, but this one says that it can be used on septic. They even make ones that have enzymes that help break down, like they release enzymes into the system to help with septic. The one that I got is an insincorator, and that one is going to be installed, I think, next week. Because that one I got from Home Depot, and they made it a lot simpler with, like, when you order it online, it'll say, like, this is what you're ordering, and these are the parts that you should also order with it. And you just check a box for it to have them come do installation. Lowe's makes it much, much more difficult, and I won't be ordering from them anymore for things like this if I can help it. I'm gonna be using Home Depot. Hey, you guys, the dishwasher is installed. It's so nice. Um, I don't know how, how much I've told you on my vlog because I was sharing on Instagram, but check out this rack up here. You could put silverware, um, pacifiers. It's really flat and so nice. Um, I, I love it so far. I haven't even ran it once, but I already love it. The floor is really dirty. I haven't mopped or anything, so don't judge. I also don't know if I've showed you guys the Berkey. I, I think I have, but if not, we got the Berkey and I'm loving it. I fill up my big jug of water with it every day now. So super excited to have this in the house. Did want to show you guys our, the water softener that we have. It's a rain soft. We bought this when we were living in Katy and it's moved with us all the time, but we haven't reconnected it until right now. So this thing hasn't been working for, what, three plus years, and we just now hooked it up again. But we didn't get around to it in Georgia, and then we didn't hook it up at the rental, so it is back and working. Very excited about that. Okay, so the new bar stools are here. I just picked them up from the front yesterday. They actually are a little bit lighter. They're, they're like brushed, and the old ones are black. So we alternated them every other one, but you really can't tell when you come back here. Oops, almost ran over Reese's um, bouncer. So that is what they look like. I think it looks good. Okay guys, I just got out of the shower, so I am feeling amazing because I feel like the house is finally to a point where I can get back into my normal routine and like do the rest as I go. So I'm gonna show you just a quick little walkthrough of what it's looking like right now. When you walk in, this is the dining room area. We've got our table in it. Still got all Nick's tools up here. Old blow up mattresses. Reese's room, she's still pretty much in our room except she takes naps in here. So I, I mean, I barely have stuff up, set up in here. Nick needs to move the crib higher. That's the only thing. The girls' bathroom, they've got some toys and their towel hung up and not really much in here. Got the step potty going on up there. Here's the girls' bedroom. Their beds, like you saw, are up. I just need to be able to get to their closet. Their closet right now is like really kind of inaccessible. So we're kind of living out of all the stuff in their dressers. I totally actually forgot about their closet. That needs to be done. Um, Nick is still working on building these shelves. Here. What Adeline? Okay, wait till you're done eating though and I'll wipe your face, okay? 
Here is the living room. Pillows are kind of strewn everywhere, but that's always. Then here's this side view of the kitchen. The girls are having their lunch right now. We're having a late lunch. I put some runners down here. I thought that looked good. Our outdoor and furniture, we're getting new furniture. It is not here yet. We've donated the other set. This is the um, guest bathroom downstairs. It's got a shower there, but we didn't put a shower curtain or anything up yet. My office is in here. Our pantry. It's so big. Just keeps going. It's the most massive pantry ever. I love it. And then here's our bedroom. There you go. In the master bathroom, we can finally get to the sinks. Master bath, master shower. Oh, I left a, a coffee right there. The little toilet area and our closet. Our closet's not anywhere near done, like at all, but um, there's stuff just like everywhere right now because I haven't really like had a chance to actually organize it. But it's huge too. There's so much room in here. And that's it. That's all we've done. Which I feel like honestly is a lot for a week. But the outside um, guest house, Casita, is nothing is really done in there. Like all the furniture's out, the beds put together and everything like that. But the storage area is still just like packed to the, or the workshop area is just packed to the brim with boxes that are like overflow and like stuff that was in storage in the old house. So that's it. But I'm going to end the vlog here because I am, have filmed so much that's going to go into this vlog that I know it's going to be so long. Thank you guys for watching. Please continue to follow along with our journey and how we make our house a home. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. The longer we stay here. Our boots get stuck in the mud